how will artificial intelligence change the way we work? I've come across this tweet more recently, which is pretty much spot on in my opinion. AI will not replace you, a person using AI will. Let's recap as to how it all started and where we find ourselves today to really understand the impact this may have on our roles and our jobs. So it all started with the industrial era, then internet era, then digital era, and now we seem to find ourselves somewhere in between digital and AI era. AI finds itself at a very tipping point now available to everyone at our fingertips. This pretty much reminds me of the release of GPS when GPS was originally only available to the US military and eventually they decided to release it to the members of the public for free. Now we all seem to have access to this very amazing AI tool called ChatGPT. What is actually ChatGPT? ChatGPT is a chat box powered by machine learning algorithms that can only assist with a variety of tasks and functions created by OpenAI. It is a text-based AI model only at this stage. It has been all over the news and social media. I am sure you have come across this and wondered as to what does it mean and how you can use it in your day-to-day -day lives or more importantly in your day-to-day -day business and day-to-day -day work life. It is still free to use it for now so make sure you register and check it out. ChatGPT can give you all sorts of information you're looking for. It does have its limitations, which I'm also going to cover in this video as well. So make sure you use it with a pinch of salt, as we often say in England, and make sure that you do adapt it and tweak it further for whatever you decide to use it. You have to be really good at asking good questions and good prompts in order to give you the answer you're looking for. So in a nutshell, the better the question, the better the prompt, the better the answer you get. It's really up to you how you want to use this model, but be careful as to what kind of questions you ask, prompts you use, and data you have available to really give you the answers you're looking for. To help you get started with ChatGPT, here we go, 10 ideas that you can start using straight away in your roles today. Let's start with emails. We all get emails every day, and sometimes we get emails whereby we are not really sure as to how to respond to some of those. For example, you could ask ChatGPT, I need to send an email to a department head about our targets not being achieved. Could you draft a response for me that gives an update, next steps, and reassures them that it can be achieved with no concerns? Clearly, if you look at this example, you will have to put in a bit more context, but it will definitely help you with a draft email to get started. It can help you with proposals, reports, and business cases. For example, you could ask it, can you draft a proposal as to how we can deal with a high attrition in step-by-step -step process with option in our department and reduce it from 15% to at least 8%. Again, you will have to provide relevant context, but it will nevertheless give you relevant sections and step-by-step -step process that you can use to further shape your proposal to your leadership team. The third suggestion is by far my favorite option, which is job specifications or job descriptions and job adverts. Managers often get asked to draft various job descriptions, but they don't have a lot of time to really sit down and go into the relevant detail. So for example, you could ask it to draft a software engineer job description for you with essential and desirable skill set that can go alongside the relevant job description. I find that this will speed up a lot of time, enable you to review it properly when it's finished, add those bits that are missing and adapt it to the real situation, the real role and the real team that you need this role to be part of. It is a great tool for survey questions, Q&A, questions and answers documents or FAQs, frequently asked question documents that we often have to draft for various situations. For example, you could ask it, can you draft 10 employee engagement survey questions for employees and 10 for managers? Or another example is, we are implementing a new HR system. Can you draft FAQ for employees who will have to be trained and use this new HR system. I wish I had this tool as part of my early career when I was required to come up with all sorts of questions, Q&As, FAQs for all sorts of change management projects. Nevertheless, here we are in 2023 when I will be using this tool quite a lot, probably on a daily basis. This tool is great for researching. As part of our roles, we often have to research all sorts of topics. So for example, you could ask it, can you suggest a number of blogs with research about improving work productivity. 
It is also a great tool for looking at various cost-effective solutions, especially when you're feeling a little bit stuck. So, for example, you could ask it, we are trying to save $250,000 in employees' costs. What options do we have available without making people redundant or laying them off? It is a great tool for developing project plan approach. For example, you could ask it, I have been asked to lead on a new engagement project. Can you produce a five-step approach and delivery plan? It is a perfect tool for developing step-by-step -step guides. ChatGPT can be used to generate step-by-step -step guides and instructions for using various softwares and tools or dealing with a problem. For example, you could ask ChatGPT, can you create a step-by-step -step guide on how to onboard new employees and provide amazing experience? It is also a great tool for helping us develop business ideas and plans. For example, you could ask ChatGPT, can you generate business services or ideas for a new software service in the financial industry to increase their productivity? And a final suggestion is, that this is a great tool for code generating and debugging. ChatGPT can also be used to generate code and identify fixed errors in existing codes. By providing a few details about the desired functionality, ChatGPT can generate working code that can be customized and then further refined by a developer. For example, you could ask ChatGPT, write a JavaScript function that takes a string input of a password and prints out the hashed password. There are so many views and concerns as to what does this now mean for software engineering. Now there is this tool that seemed to generate generate codes a lot quicker. You still need to ask really good questions and prompts in order to arrive at this code you're looking for, and you may need to do some more of your manual work on it. It's a great tool to actually use in your day-to-day -day role as a software engineer and clearly needs to be learned and understood as to how you can maximize it. In my opinion, this would release software engineers to perhaps think a bit more about the design, about customer services, what the customer is trying to do, and really add value in other parts of their role. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella, for example, believes that 80% of code will be automatically generated. Now let's talk about some limitations of this tool. I've come up with five so far. This tool really emphasizes the past more than the future. It cannot really ask you to predict or give you an idea as to what may happen in the future. It also may give you incorrect information. It conveys a standard more than guidance. It generates generic more than specific response. It does have lack of personalized or lived experience which is why anything you get from ChatGPT in terms of any information that it gives you, you need to really work further on it, adapt it, tailor it, improve it. But I think it's a great starting point for you not to look at a blank page of your letter or your email or your document or your plan, whatever you really need to work on. I think it's a great buddy to have alongside your role and really maximize it further. I really strongly suggest that you spend good quality time understanding AI, how it can help you perform better in your role and really upscale yourself where you feel you're not as strong. If you look at what jobs may be immediately impacted by ChatGPT, you're looking at editors, reporters, analysts, customer services, software engineers, as I already mentioned. ChatGPT is a game changer already. Apparently, about 30% of CEOs have already started to use it to send their emails or communications, and many people are using it for all sorts of aspects of their day-to-day -day role. ChatGPT is clearly an invaluable tool for anyone who is looking to maximize their efficiency, effect, and productivity. That's it for this video. If you have liked this video, there are many other similar ones on my channel, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now!